tonight Rod is swapping comedy for DIY as he takes over hosting duties on a special episode of BBC's DIY SOS. The project on the show, is funded by Children in Need, and will see a rural area in East Yorkshire transformed into a purpose-built adventure campsite. Far from his charitable work, Rod went through a bizarre and worrying health scare whilst on the toilet. Talking to Wales Online, Rod explained that whilst on the loo, his left arm started to shake involuntarily, like he was waving at someone. Rod said, about 30 seconds it went on for, and I can vouch 100% for the fact there was absolutely no one else there in the loo with me. So who my arm thought it was saying hello to I really don't know. It was a really odd episode. Following this odd experience, and somewhat shaken up by the entire experience, the comedian was referred to a nearby stroke clinic. Cancer, the seemingly healthy food that may double your risk of the deadliest cancer their medical professionals eventually ruled out any neurological damages, but did tests on his heart. At the time of the incident Rod said, I'm still waiting for the result of heart tests they gave me though, but I'm pretty sure it'll turn out to be nothing serious. A mini stroke, or transient ischemic attack, TIA, as they are known professionally can be extremely dangerous. These attacks are caused by a temporary disruption in the blood supply to part of the brain which then results in a lack of oxygen to the brain. Moderna vaccine side effects, Emma assessing reports of a new serious complication, insight Prince Charles Health, Royals embarrassing chronic condition, signs to spot, latest Pfizer booster vaccine, the severe side effect that may follow the third jab, tips, the NHS explains that this lack of oxygen can cause sudden symptoms that are similar to a stroke such as speech and visual disturbance and numbness or weakness in the face, arms and legs. Similar to a stroke, the main way to tell if someone is experiencing a TIA attack is to remember the acronym FAST FACE, the face may have dropped on one side, the person may not be able to smile, or their mouth or eye may have dropped arms, the person may not be able to lift both arms and keep them raised because of weakness or numbness in one arm. Speech, their speech may be slurred or garbled, or the person may not be able to talk at all, despite appearing to be awake, they may also have problems understanding what you're saying to them. Time. It's time to call 999 immediately if you see any of these signs or symptoms. In addition to these initial signs, individuals may also experience blindness or vertigo and a loss of balance or coordination. As the symptoms of atia and stroke are similar, it is not possible to tell them apart. Therefore it is crucial to seek medical attention straight away if any of the above symptoms are being experienced by someone. Treatment for ATIA is critical as it can prevent a full stroke from occurring in the near future. Yet treatment will depend on your individual circumstances like age and medical history. Treatments vary from medication to surgery for a more severely narrowed neck artery. In this case, a preventative surgery known as a carotid endarterectomy is carried out in order to clear carotid arteries of fatty deposits before another TIA or full stroke strikes. Other, less invasive treatments commonly include lifestyle changes which can be used to reduce your risk of stroke. The NHS recommends these simple lifestyle changes to reduce your risk of not only stroke, but also high blood pressure and high cholesterol levels. Diet The key here is a low-fat, high-fiber diet with plenty of fruit and vegetables and whole grains. Individuals should also limit the amount of salt they have in their daily diet, with a recommended amount of no more than 6 grams a day, 1 teaspoonful. 
exercise as well as a balanced diet, regular exercise is the best way to maintain a healthy weight. For most people, 2 hours and 30 minutes of moderate exercise a week is recommended. This can include high-intensity aerobic activities or moderate activities such as cycling or walking. Stop smoking Smoking significantly increases your risk of having a stroke as it narrows your arteries and makes your blood more likely to clot. Therefore quitting smoking will minimize your risk of having a stroke, but also improve your general health. Cut down on alcohol Alcoholic drinks are high in calories and they also cause weight gain. In fact, the NHS explains that heavy drinking can increase your risk of stroke by more than three times. Therefore it is important to stick to the recommended 14 units a week, spreading this across three days or more.